thing. Usually when I do, it means I've got a very busy day. And I actually have a very, very busy day. Uh, although I'm probably going to be coming live again later. Even though I did a Monday quiz, I did a St. Paddy's Day quiz. But I like to, whenever things are sort of out of place, I sort of think, well, I don't want to confuse other people. <laughs> so I'm thinking I will probably come on later and do a quiz with you as well. Uh, plus going for a walk. Plus... Um, I've got to go to the supermarket as well because I'm tempted tonight to make um, sloppy joes because <laughs> I actually haven't had them for a long time and I have some beef mints that I took out of the freezer and I need to uh, get the extra ingredients. It was either that or having like boring spaghetti bolognese. Although I could do maybe a ragu. I could do a ragu. Let me just pop in my contact lenses in a minute. I've got some bad news, guys. I had some bad news. Not really, well, not really, really, really bad news, but it's still sort of bad news because what do I like to have on a morning? What do I like to have on a morning? What is... Just putting my contact lens in so I can see. Because I have been awake for like two hours. I like to put my glasses on before I actually uh, put any contact lenses in. So people, you know, when you wake up and you find you have contact lenses and you, you put them in your eyes straight away and you're like, oh my gosh. And then your eyes get really dry out. I don't know if you wear glasses or not. Uh, I think, Jay, you wear glasses, don't you? I think I saw you wearing glasses. And um, I'm not sure. I could be wrong. Um, <laughs> so, but yeah, the, your eyes really dry out. But yeah, what's, what do you think is the bad news? What do you think is the bad news? Now, usually I'm in this position when I'm actually, when I've run out of something. Mustafa, you must know what I'm talking about. I've got some really bad news. <laughs> I know it's a great way. It's not mom might know. I feel like we're always playing the game when I'm ever saying, it's not this, no, nope, it's not that one, it's not that one. I had issues a couple, of, about three or four weeks ago, actually, or maybe just after Christmas. My coffee machine wasn't warming up properly. That was the first thing. Then the second thing, um, it was only dispensing a really small amount of coffee. Uh, and then it stopped, so it went halfway, and, and then it stopped. And then now, the actual uh, machine, I, I sort of thought it was pressure spring had not, put, you know, a bit, had a bit of pressure on it. And so when it filters the water, it heats the water through and then passes it through into the uh, into your cup. Um, and it was just sort of like dripping. It was this time last week, actually. I took the water thing off. I pushed my finger up the... Uh, up the water function <laughs> and um, and the water came out obviously but, and then i put it back in and it worked it was fine but ever since I've, ever since then really it doesn't really do a, a nice a long a, like a, you know an actual full cup of coffee anymore so i'm like and then it, i'm wasting the coffee or i can't get any extra water and you're probably thinking well just boil the kettle and put some water in but that's not the point so i don't know what to do with it i'm a bit i'm a bit stuck there is an option where it says if you've had it for a couple of months, and I've had mine for about three years, and I've never actually properly cleaned it. So it could be like lime scale, and you might be thinking, oh, that's not nice, lime scale. Um, that's built up on, in the machine. I'm not sure, but I did all the sort of cleaning function. But there's an only other, well, there's one other option is to put some like lime scale solution through it, and then, you know, try that. You know, that's sort of one of the things. So I might try that, and then it's only my last thing I'm going to do. So I'm just going to, let me just, I've got a few things to do this morning on here. So I'm not going to be on too long because my friend is on at 10 o'clock on Facebook. So I'm just going to just tidy up a second. I have to get rid of all my oops, utensils and things. And the reason I've actually come on is because I wanted to try my new hand blender that I bought on Monday. Was it Monday? Yeah, it was Monday. I think it was. Because then Tuesday was, what it? I didn't use it on Tuesday. Or was it Tuesday? Then it was St. Paddy's Day. And I was absolutely, uh, I was in bed for nine o'clock. If, if you didn't watch any of my broadcasts from uh, St. Paddy's Day, the quiz was brilliant. Uh, I was on Periscope playing some tunes, which you've probably watched. It was quite funny. And then afterwards, do you want to know what I did afterwards? I ended up going litter picking. Yes, believe it or not, I was I was actually planning on doing it anyway, 
But then I thought, what could make litter picking more interesting than when you're actually, when you're absolutely drunk out of your head? <laughs> so I, I remember going out with litter picking. I must have been out for about an hour. I didn't have a coat on or anything. And I, I came back and I was so cold. And um, yeah, I'm going to go for a walk later today. And I'll look around the street and be like, I wonder who cleaned this street up? <laughs> the mysterious litter picker. I tell you something though, guys. Yeah, if you have a if you have a drink with you and you're doing it, it does make it I feel a lot better. It's not always one of the best things, and people don't like doing it. But pick up your litter, everybody. Don't throw litter on the ground. You know, I mean, people might think, well, if there's litter pickers about, then surely I can just throw my litter, and I know it's going to get picked up. But that's not the point. It's the point of knowing that you're in a clean area. And um, but I would not be, uh, I would actually, if somebody dropped a piece of litter right in front of my face, I would actually go up to them and say, right, uh, I'll get my phone out and I'd actually film them. And I'd say, this is an idiot that's just dropped a load of litter on them. And I'd share it on social media. And um, yeah, don't, don't, be, don't be scared about doing that. Seriously, don't be scared about doing it. Because then you can report it and take it to the police and then they'll get fined. And then they'll never do it again. Because that's the point. You don't want to keep people doing stuff like that. I'm not saying nobody's done that. It's just that if I did see somebody doing it and they knew it was me who picks it up, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hold back from saying to them, right, you know, I'll take a picture of you and I'll send it to the police because they know they did it. So anyway, I'm just going to tidy my dishes up. <clears throat> and then what we're going to do is we're going to make, we're going to make some um, egg omelettes, but I want to use my hand up mixer for the first time. I think you can do it. That's the whole point. I bought it, really. But then Alexa said, Alexa said to me yesterday, <laughs> I accidentally put whisk, electric whisk. So I was thinking, have I bought the wrong thing? Have I actually bought um, the wrong kitchen tool thing? Because every time I'm whisking my eggs, I thought, well, I'm sure you could use a hand blender. You can use a blender, can't you, for the eggs? Anyway, what's my favourite bevy of choice? I, I do like cider. I go through stages, Jay. I'm like, I like, I like a bit of, I, I don't mind anything really, if I'm honest. <laughs> um, it depends on what mood I'm in. If it's summer, I tend to like a more cider. If it's winter, I tend to drink a lot more lager. So winter, lager in winter, I tend not to drink lager in summer. Or wine, I like white wine. I'm not, I'm not a fan of red wine, unless I'm having it with a meal. Um, I like rosé wines as well. Uh, I started drinking craft beers as well. Um, from at Christmas, I was drinking craft beers for the first time, and they have this really good subscription service. I'm obsessed with. Craft I like the subscription services, yes, but I like to try them first, and then I can decide if I want them or not. Uh, and this one that I was using over Christmas was, it's called Beer Fifty Two. I actually have a free, um, a free box and a free delivery which i haven't used i don't even know if you can still use it or not but i was going to give it to somebody um obviously you have to be in the uk to use it but you just sort of order it and then you, can you cancel it once you've received it although um sometimes they make it a little bit difficult to cancel that's the problem but the, you know they're getting a lot more people now which come on to it so they're, they're I'm not saying they weren't happy to cancel it in the first time. They just they make it a little bit difficult. It's like Amazon. Did you know that when you go to Amazon and you get Amazon Prime, you go and try and cancel. The button that you think you're actually pressing to cancel is not the button that you, you cancel it. You've got to go onto another page to cancel it. Did you know this, guys? They're very crafty. They're very crafty. Did you know that? Yeah, there's a button and it takes you to another page. And if you don't click on the right one that you're thinking that you're pressing on, it's quite misleading. They do it. A lot of other subscriptions do it as well. Hello, Molly. Good morning from Pittsburgh. Why, why, what time is it over there? I was on Mary's um, broadcast earlier on Periscope, and uh, she said it was 2 a.m. in... Oh, my God, I forgot where you're from. <laughs> Somewhere six hours behind, anyway. <laughs> it's like it's probably, when you think of the UK, it's like we're just in one time zone, but when you're in a different time zone... You know, so many different time zones, isn't there, in America? Well, you'd think there were. There, it feels like that, anyway. And you all put your clocks forward, didn't you, on Sunday? So Alexis is actually four hours behind now. So you are actually an hour in front. So you're an hour closer. 
this would be the same as me being on at um, half past nine because of five hours, but instead, but we put our clocks forward at the end of the month. And I think it's on, I think it's tomorrow is the equinox, which means that it's exactly 12 hours of the day. So the, the same amount of sunlight, uh, sorry, the yeah, same amount of darkness as there is sunlight. That's what it means. And it's when spring officially starts. So bring on the hot weather, bring on the parties. Well, not there's so much parties, but um, I am going to be making a start cooking soon, guys. I'm just, uh, now, do you all want a quiz later on? Do you want a quiz in about two and a half, not two and a half? hours it'll be too early yeah it would be two and a half hours do you still want a quiz later on even though i did the saint paddy's day one and let me know what sort of quiz you want it will be number number 19 i think it is number 19 what sort of quiz would you like i don't mind coming on i know i know people like to do the quizzes and things so and i've got a new game for you as well now this was inspired by alexis Yesterday, when Alexis came live for the first time, and I, I was going to try out the new camera position as well, thing. Um, when Alexis came on live, she had her mute button turned on. So I've got a new game for you, and we're going to do it. I think we'll do it. We're going to definitely do it on the next quiz. If it's if it's today, it's today. If it's next week, we'll do it then. But it's where you basically will have to guess what I'm saying with the microphone switched off. And I'll give you the I'll give you like the category first. We could we could kind of do it now, but I'd have to touch my uh, mute button. Let me just see in practice if this works. Okay, are you ready, guys? We're going to just have a quick game of what it's called. It's called Read My Lips. You have to guess what word I am saying, and the first person to get it gets ten points. Are you ready? Do you want to play this game? I don't know if it's going to work, but at least I'll know. I'll know my uh, microphone will be switched off. Are you going to be at work? Okay. Well, you can always watch on the replay. Anybody that's at work or has other plans or might be busy watching other people, you can always watch on replay. And you can watch on YouTube if you want to. You can watch on full screen on your TV. So let's have a quick game of this then. Okay, so the category, this is what we're going to be doing later then if I come on. The category will be uh, a place, okay, a country. What country? And I'm going to say it out loud. I'm going to turn my microphone off. So you get the full experience, okay? And hopefully you won't be able to hear what I'm saying, but you'll be able to guess. But I'll be able to watch this back to see if it works. Are you ready then? So I'm going to put my mute on. I'm going to say the word, and you have to guess what it is from my lips. Okay, you ready? So it's a country. Are you ready? Did we get it? Did anybody guess it? So it was a country I put, I turned my mic off. Did anybody guess the country that I was trying to say? I think this could be clever. I just hope you didn't actually hear me and there was no issues with the microphone. Like if it was actually on instead of being off. Did we guess it? Who's going to guess it? I think this will be a good game. Oh, you say Australia. It wasn't Australian, no. Keep guessing. This could be a really good game. We could do it with absolutely anything. I'm just doing my uh, dishes at the moment and then we're going to make a start on on the... Uh... Well, actually, I don't even know if I want to do eggs now. <laughs> it's not Australia. Keep guessing, though. Do you want me to do it one more time? Okay, I'll do it one more time. It's not Austria, no, not Austria, day day. It does have an A at the end, so you are close, and it does begin with a letter A. This is going to be very clever. We're all going to be experts at mouth, at, um, at lip reading, aren't we? After this, <laughs> not Austria, no. Do you want it one more time? I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a start. Uh, actually, I'm not going to have to. I'm not going to do the eggs. I'm going to do them another day. But I am going to prepare my stew, and I'm going to have some wheat a bit. I think for my uh, for my breakfast. If you really like this game, 
and we're going to do it after. Yes, Molly got it. Well done, Molly. It was indeed. Yeah, and I'm going to say it again. I'm just going to do it with the mic off and then the mic on. So it was. It was Argentina. Argentina. Should we do another one? Give me a category, guys. Anybody give me a category? The reason I'm not going to make the actual uh, eggs now is because it's a little bit early. And uh, I don't want to make too much racket with the hand blender. Even though I could do them by hand. And I had some of these last night. They, these are Weetabix. I absolutely love these. And I've not had them for ages. So you can have them with almond milk or soy milk or semi-skin milk. Put some bananas in there if you want to. I don't know how many points there are for Weetabix. I haven't tracked it yet. Okay, we'll do another one. Okay, we'll do another one. And then if you want to actually, we're going to be doing this again later on tonight, uh, later on today. We'll do a quiz and then we'll do Read My Lips. So the next category then is going to be food and drink. Okay, food and drink. So let me think of something. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. I'm ready. So I'm going to put the mic on and you've got to guess what I'm saying. You ready? Okay. How did we do it, guys? Did we get it? He might have only got one of the words, but there's two words there. Anybody guess it? It's going to be so much fun. I actually got this. <coughs> excuse me. I actually got this idea off um, it, it off Saturday night takeaway. Hello, Sheila. Good morning. So I'm just making. Well, I was making breakfast, and I got some Weetabix instead before Caroline comes on later. But I thought we'd have a new game. And it's called Read My Lips. It's not the Read My Lips, you know, with the phone. It's just Read My Lips. So I'm going to turn the microphone off and you have to guess what I'm saying. OK, now it's a food and drink. I'm going to do it one more time just for Sheila. OK, it's a food and drink. Did we get it? Did we get it, Sheila? <laughs> so it's a food, it's in the category of food and drink. What did I just say with the mic switched off? Thank you for the, the um, Stay Safe Award, Sheila. I do appreciate it. I'm getting quite close to the 200 now. Well, I'm about halfway, I'll be honest. So I did the Haps Challenge, and I, I got that. Oh, Molly's got it. Yes, Molly was indeed. Yeah, it was mashed potatoes. I'll do it again. Mashed potato. <laughs> Let's do one more then. If you really like this game, we're going to do. We're going to be doing a quiz because I like to do a quiz on a Friday. Um, and I did say Paddy's one after I did the dancing. <laughs> this was after she. Uh, after uh, thir well, it wasn't Thursday. Uh, I had a really bad head yesterday. On uh, so I do one on a Friday. Okay, so we do one more. Then we will do one more. Let me think of something. Give me a category, anybody. Give me a category. Give me a category. I shouldn't really do this when I'm eating, should I? <laughs> um. Okay, let's do. Let's do sport. Okay, a sport. <laughs> Okay, this might be quite easy. Okay, I'm going to go. Okay, I'm going to turn the mic off and you've got to guess what I'm saying. Are you ready? How did we do that time, guys? <laughs> Bearing in mind, most spots have this ending at the end. But did you guess what I was saying? Did you read my lips?
who's going to be the first to guess that? I think that was quite an easy one. Maybe it's a type of sport. Not football, no. You were close. You have to really read my lips. If you really like this game, we're going to be doing this again later. Caroline, you should do this tonight. Do this tonight. It doesn't have to be many, just to a few, and see if people like it. I think it'd be really good. I don't know if you can turn your mic off, though, on, on, on there. Well, maybe you could try it without, if you can't turn the mic off. It's lucky we can do it on here, but it's not netball, no. Keep guessing. I'll do it one more time. So one more time. Not bad. And Molly there is the correct. Yeah, it was indeed. It was a volleyball. Volleyball. Volley. Ball. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? It's so good. I love it. Okay, we'll do one more. One more. Let's try and think of another. You give me a category, Molly, because you've, you've got them all right so far. Molly, give me a category. Can be anything. Yeah, so it was actually on Saturday Night Takeaway was this game, where they were winning prizes online. I thought it's such a great game, and I'm surprised we haven't even played it. Um, and it is so fun. Give me a category, uh, Molly. Could be absolutely anything, unless you want me to think of one. Just let me know. I'm going to make this stew because I, I don't want to be on for too long. Pets. Okay, we're going to do pets. Okay. Okay, this could be interesting. That's why you're clearly going to get. Okay. Are you ready? Mike's going off now. Okay, how do we do that time? How do we that? How so we've done pets? We'll do another one then after this if you guess this right. Well, if you, what 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 pet was I uh, was I saying? It's more difficult than you think, isn't it? This game. Did we guess it, everybody? <laughs> no, it wasn't a girt, Caroline. I think this is <laughs> this is the reason why I've done this game is because you don't actually hear the accent; you just hear the word or how you just see the lips move. So you're not sure even how I pronounce it, which can give you a clue. So don't forget, we're going to do this again after after the quiz. What type of quiz would you like today? Would you like a history, a science, a movie quiz? Molly's saying a shark or... I can't say that word, so it wasn't that word. Let me do it one more time. So really, really look closely at my lips. Are you ready? Let me just... So you don't not put off by my, uh, my face. Okay, can you still see my lips? Okay. Are you ready? Here we go. How do we do? <laughs> I think I gave you a big, big clue then when I was moving my lips and my tongue as well. It's all about the pronunciation. Thank you for the Stay Safe Award, Caroline. Yeah, as I said, I'm about halfway there. I can then. I'm about halfway, so. Any guesses? Come on, guys. Right, I'm going to start, I'm going to make a start on my. Uh, I'm going to get my slow cooker out. Move these out of the way. I've got some potatoes and I've got some parsnip and carrots. Oops. 
Well, there's not no idea. Any guesses, Caroline? Do you want it one more time? Put it one more time and then let me try it without the actual um, mic turned off. Although I would advise you to turn the mic off. Yes, Caroline, you got it. It was it was tarantula, a tarantula. Well done, everyone. Right, okay, I'm going to bring the camera down. I'm just going to start making this this uh, stew. I'd normally put sausages in here, and uh, but I forgot to take some sausages out. So what I'm going to do is, you can always make up your vegetables and things in the stew, and then if you've got any meat, you can add it later on. It's really for it to cook with the with the with the veggies. Um, okay, let me just put that to one side. It's been ages since I did a stew. Actually, I don't know why I'm plugging my uh, slow cooker in now, but I've got... Let me move that to one side. I hate when I don't have a lot of space. Oh, down there for now. Okay. Okay, Caroline, I'll see you soon. See you at 10 o'clock. Okay, let me bring the camera down. So the first thing we're going to do... I forgot even to get a new... Uh, Peeler. So this is going to be interesting. Let me know how the connection is, guys. I've got a uh, stew pack here. Need to use it up. It says the 17th of March on, and some people will be like, oh, excuse me. Some people are like, oh, no, I'm not. I'll just give that a quick wash. And this is all going to go in to the slow cooker. So, if you really like that game, we're going to do the quiz about half past 11. And then we're going to play the game after that. Okay. Washing my carrot, parsnip, onions, it's all going to go in there. I love parsnips. I love parsnips. I love roasted parsnips, but you do realise how much oil you put on things if you if you're on a diet or like me. <laughs> Although I'll I'll okay, I'll, I'll tell everybody now then. So I actually lost, even though I've been doing a lot more exercise, a lot more exercise, I actually lost a pound. And um I actually had a I thought I had a really bad week last week. I did all right, which I'm happy about. So, actually, I'm going to keep the skins on because the skins, the skins actually uh, have lots of flavour in them. Let me just uh, give my uh, slow cooker a little wipe out. Okay, I'd usually do the potatoes first, but I'm just going to chop these up into little rounds. Sheila, if you're watching this, that question that you said to me yesterday about the julienne, I got that right. You were right when you said you'd know this one. The reason I knew that question was because Alexis, who cooks, she uses a julienne peeler. Do I like turnips? I do love turnips, Molly, yes. Uh, oh, sorry, turnips, turnips, not tulips. <laughs> I have to go, that I can't even, can you not? Oh, wow. They're not as popular in the United States. Yeah, I was quite surprised when a lot of Americans watching me, they, they do say that they've never had a, a parsnip before. I wonder why that is though. Is it just the, the shape of them or? So this won't take me very long to put up. Getting rid of the. So I don't know what I'm going to have this with tomorrow. I'll take some meat out. I'll probably make a Yorkshire pudding, a giant Yorkshire pudding and have it. It's quick and easy. 
and then have some uh, maybe roast some chicken or I actually have some uh, barbecue barbecue ribs which I could actually uh, cook and then pull apart and then add it to the add it to the dish. Sorry for all the noise, guys. I'll get rid of that end. Not very nice. Don't want to add too many carrots in, but okay. Let's do the. Uh, so this is the, the par uh, parsnip. So chop off the ends. Now for this, I'm going to get rid of the skins because I don't have a peeler yet. I've ordered one. It's on its way. The small. One. since I used the knife. I'll have to do this with the potatoes as well. Oops. The great thing about peelers though is that they, they do cook very thin so you don't waste up your parsnip. Your skins remember you can make a really nice stock with your skins if you want to do that uh have you ever mashed cooked tunips uh, to turnips not tulips and potatoes together it's my favorite i don't think i have done that no i've done it with i've done it with carrots and swede this is a swede yeah so turnips i've done it with carrots but not potatoes i might have to try it Oops. I might go to Starbucks today or go somewhere, I'm not sure. I might go and get a treat myself to a nice drink or something. Should do the second cam review, shouldn't I? The only issue why I can't do it though at the minute is because I whenever I go live on hat like I am now. I would have to have my personal hotspot switched on. Now, I do another broadcast, and it, that that the, the software that I use, that it must be something to do with the uh, traffic or bandwidth or something. Uh, it, it, it just stops me from streaming, even on an iPhone. So I'm going to try it. I will try it on Haps another day and get the iPad. But you'd probably it always lose. I always lose the connection. So I'm going to be putting two onions in here and then you can either chop them up using a knife or you can use a dicer if you have a dicer. And then they've been in the fridge for ages then they won't, they won't cook. Uh, Rutabagas and parsnips just don't seem to be an American's diet. I grew up in Western Canada and the root vegetables were popular. I suppose it comes down to sort of like local recipes, doesn't it? You know, if, you, know you have those recipes that are passed down from generation to generation. And then some other areas have their own recipes. Um, and it's that influence. So I think if you're not introduced to that sort of food, then there's no reason for it to be in like the supply chain in that area. So it's like whenever you see like a new restaurant opening up in your area, you're like, oh yes, that'll be good. Because then you'll get to try the foods and then it also then helps the supermarkets as well. It's like the beer industry and all that. You know, when you try a new beer, it's like you go to a pub. The whole point of a pub, I was guess I'm guessing this is to for the breweries to uh, provide the beer. And if a new beer comes around, then you try it and then you like it and you're supporting that brewery. It's like a cooperative where, you, you know, you're earning the shares in the company. And I've gone all business-like, haven't I, today? <laughs> so, yeah, I've put bang all the... Uh, oh, there's going to be quite a lot of onions in this. Maybe <laughs> I didn't need too many onions. But it'd be nice in... The thing with onions, though, it's nice in a gravy. So if you, whenever you're putting stock in this, it'll actually bring out lots of different, 
different nice flavors. Now I know there's loads of different ways you can cut onions. I like to do it my way. I don't do all this fanciness. I just like it. I like it just chopped and cooked and I'm happy. As long as it tastes the same. Okay, I'm going to use a, this is the knife, yep. So we've got a turnip. I think it's a turnip. They also get well over winter in the cold. They do, yep, yep. Chop these ends off. And then I don't have a peeler, so I usually just cut round this. I've done it that many times. Try not to chop your hands off. So don't forget on the 10th of April, pop that in your pop that date in your diary. It's dessert day. It's a Saturday. In which us haps hapsters, we I think we're called hapsters, aren't we? We are hapsters because we are using haps. We're hapsters, not hipsters. Hapsters, and we'll be coming live. Uh, I've not got my date, com my time confirmed yet, but I think I'll be on around about lunchtime. So it'll be about seven a.m. Oh no, it'll be yeah, seven a.m. Eastern time, I reckon. Now, I cut these up really small because usually you boil them and they take forever to boil. They do. It takes forever to boil this if you want mashed. So cut them small so they uh, cook quicker. Is Jay, are you still watching? He's still here, Jay. Let me know. I know a few people like to watch on replay. So if you are watching one of those people that watch on the replay, just put in the comment, you know, say I'm here on replay. I don't even know I did my potatoes in yet. I'm going to have to make my potatoes really small now. Um, happies. Are we happies? Okay. I grew up with hops last year and made an okay beer with them. Molly, you need to show me this. I need to see this in action. I need to see this. Okay, and that's all the carrots, onions chopped up. Okay, next thing we need to do is the potatoes. <laughs> I think I've got some potatoes. I hope I've got some potatoes. Ah, I've got some potatoes. Let's check the dates on them. Uh, oh, guess where are these are from, Sheila? You never guess. They're from Northumberland. They're from Northumberland. Can you believe it? Oh, I sounded all scouts then as well. Has it been a week of accents? Uh, shall I use some of these instead? Uh, don't fall out. I use the other ones because they're, uh, they look a little bit better. And these are smaller, so it means I don't have to cut them up. I think I'm going to leave the skins on, but I will clean them. So these are just baby, British baby potatoes. I'll give them a wash. Loads. Right, let's give them a clean. Okay. So remember the three S's, guys. If you uh, remember to share out this broadcast, subscribe if you're not already subscribed to me. You can. Um, I think mean, you can click the three dots and then tap subscribe and if you really are generous and you, you know this is only if you really really want to you can sponsor me um but you don't have to sponsor me you, there's another way of sponsoring me and that's by sending awards which a lot of you already do so i, I do appreciate that a lot and it's, it's something we're all new to on hats because a lot of people who are on hats now were have come from other live streaming apps and we never had that award. We, we did. Have, there was a similar thing called like Super Hearts. So if you ever see, if you ever hear me say Super Hearts, thank you for the Super Heart. It's because on Periscope, they used to send Super Hearts, 
which are coins that you can buy and give to broadcasters. Now, the only problem with the Super Hearts on Periscope is what you had to be a verified VIP or a verified, um, v, you know, like a verified um, streamer to be able to cash out. And obviously, they then changed that about two months ago, three months ago, when they announced Periscope was closing to reclaim your your, your uh, Super Hearts. So, of all the broadcasting that I ever did, do you want to know how much I got off Periscope? Do you want to know how much I got off Periscope for five years, even though I was not even a VIP? I got twenty pounds, <laughs> believe it or not. So that's how it just shows you how much they actually care about their uh, of their um, users. So, but it's, like, it's Twitter Live, Twitter Live, and more per- Twitter, Periscope's owned by Twitter Live, Twitter, tw- and it's going to be Twitter Live. But it just shows you how much they actually cared. With hat, they've already given me fifty dollars for eight weeks which is twice as much as what Periscope gave me in five years. Now, I don't, I don't know if it's going to be last, that's going to be a, a regular thing or not, but they, at least you know that when you get to $200, which is about £170, pounds, uh, minus, well, take off the fees, it's about 150, like 140 or something. It's still a hell of a lot more than what Periscope ever did. So um, uh, in a kind of way, it makes sense to, to come on to HAPS if you're watching this on Periscope. Nothing against Periscope, they've been brilliant, you know, for the streaming, but they actually, uh, they actually, um, show, they actually appreciate your work, you know, and what you broadcast that you do. So I just hope we've I wonder if Haps, well, I hope Haps doesn't go the same way as what Uber's had to do in the UK, where Uber's an app, it's like a technology app. And Haps is like an app because it's, it's live streaming, whether you'll have to pay a minimum wage for us because we're actually providing uh, content. So do you know that in, in the UK now, if you're an Uber taxi driver, the, the Uber actually has to pay um, their staff. I'm just getting rid of them nasty bits. So in a way, I'm already, oh, that's a bit mouldy. Let me just get rid of that one. So I got the extra one now, you see. But um, thankfully, I'm a VIP now on here, so I'm happy with that. I do like Haps. Okay, I have Haps. Be- I think Haps is better than Periscope. There's very few frauds. Yeah, there is. But I think a lot of people still don't know about Haps. So there will be at some point a sudden surge of people coming in. It could be next. It could be the end of the end of the month. It might be the end of next month. It might be in the summer. It could be next year as people start to come on it on here um but you know yeah it is better there's a the only the only uh, trolls that i seem to have is from twitch which is obviously where people think know where they go to so there will be a surge of people coming on so i'm just chopping these potatoes really small with the skins on do you want i'm going to do two more because I've got enough, I don't think. And then you can add maybe like broccoli or anything that doesn't take long to do. You can add that on the top. Now I've got. I'm going to ask. Shall I use vegetable? I'm going to use vegetable stock. I think. I was going to say, shall I do vegetable stock or chicken stock? But I'm actually going to use vegetable stock because it's got parsley and and mint, and it's such a nice. Um, it's such a nice um, stock. So here it is then guys this is my this is my stew i've got potatoes in there we've got some uh, swede we've got onions and carrots um let me chop that up a little bit smaller and you're probably thinking aiden oh my god you're never going to eat all that are you it use it as a base and then you can add it to other things so cook off your meat separately i'd, I'd normally add sausages to this because they're really quick they're really quick to make uh, quick to cook, not make. <laughs> what well, another thing I like to do as well is is take out your meat. You know, if you get sausage sausages, you can actually take the meat out and fry it with some um, some pork mince, and you can make a really nice. Um, was it a ragu? I can't remember what it was. I made some. It was ragu, wasn't it? Yeah, sausage meat. So when you when you say use sausage meat, you can just get normal sausages and take the skins off. You don't have to eat the skins because that's where the nasty stuff is. Right, okay, let me bring the camera back up. So you 
you can all see me. Hello. No such thing as too many potatoes. That is true. That's true, especially over these parts. You go everywhere and there's chips everywhere. Chips, 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 because we, we produce so many of them in the world. Um, okay, let, let me just get this stock out. Hopefully the camera's going to be all right. Make the stock. I like to add a few like herbs in here as well. And this is what I'm using. Oops. Just checking the time. This is what I'm using is Oxo stock pots. So it needs to be with let me just check again. I think it's like nine hundred. Oh, 750 milliliters of water. I can make a nice cup of tea as well at the same time. So, hello, I'm going to give a few shout outs then. So, Dimitri is watching from the Gold Coast. Wow. I think it's nice. Is it nice weather there? Well, it's your winter, isn't it, coming? So, it'd be awesome. I guess it's quite nice there at the minute. Um, we've got Molly. Molly's on. I have to say, sorry, Molly, sorry. <laughs> Remember to share out everybody as well. Um, through comments. Sometimes I miss comments, and it's not because I don't see them. It's just, but well, it is because I don't see them. Sometimes they just don't appear on the screen, and I don't know why that is. It's really odd. Um, right. So what I'm going to do is let this cook away for about uh, about six hours. I tend to do it on high, then turn it down to low. Uh, and then I'll put it on again tomorrow morning for about another few hours, uh, just till the veggies are nice and soft, and then I'll fry some meat. But as the best thing about slow cookers is you can actually add everything in there and just leave it. So, hello Irish guy, how are you doing? I don't know if you watched my broadcast from uh, Wednesday, or whether maybe you were enjoying yourself too much. Um, I apologise in advance for the accent, because <laughs> it wasn't the best accent in the world. Um, but it was it was okay, we did a St Paddy's Day quiz. And then I went on to Periscope. You probably saw me on Periscope if you're watching me on Periscope. Yeah, you've got to go, go on to Haps, download this app, put in my name, Aidan Leeds, in the referrals, and uh, come on to Haps, because when Periscope's finished, you know, you're going to have to come on here anyway if you want to watch my broadcast. Um, Baza, you don't have to watch it. <laughs> Let me just grab my jug. I did have actually got a smaller jug here. And I want 750 milliliters. Oh, actually, well, what I'm going to do is fill this up actually with water. Fill this right to the top. I don't know if you can see this. Look. Fill this with really hot water. So one pint of water. I'm going to pour that into my mix and then I'm going to add another. So I'm going to actually have two pints of water. In oh, actually I've got enough water. Actually, it's probably not 750. What I'm, doing. I'm going to add one of these in. Garden vegetables, it's called. Actually, yeah, I will. I don't know if it's used. I'm, I'm going to use chicken stock instead because I really like them and I don't want to waste them on the when there's loads of vegetables in there already. It kind of makes sense. <clears throat> so I'm going to use one of these, a chicken stock cube. If this goes up to 900 and I've got two pints. So I'm going to plonk it in. <clears throat> Just going to give this a stir. <coughs> Not sure what happened there, guys. Sorry about that. It smells really, really nice. Oh, I'm going to lift you back up now. <laughs> Have to go get dressed for work and leave. I'll finish watching on the roof. You're very welcome, Molly. Thank you for popping in and 
watching the broadcast. Uh, I do appreciate everybody that comes in. So I'm going to add this chicken stock in now, just so it covers it over. And then I'm going to give it one big stir. Oh, missing loads of it at the bottom. And then I'm going to let this cook. And it smells nice. I'm actually going to add one of these in, actually. And then I'll show you the final the final view. So we've added chicken stock in. We're going to also add some garden vegetable with parsley and bay. And this will be the, all, the, all the herbs. Oh, I wish you could smell that. It smells so nice. It's very strong, but it's nice. But it's high concentrate, so see. And mix all that in. I need a second camera, don't I? <laughs> You're all like wondering, what, what are you doing, Aiden? What are you doing? You want to see? Right, let me bring this down. You're going to see in just two seconds because it's the same thing. Okay, you ready? So this is the uh, this is what I've just made. I've added some of the OXO stock cube, and we've added in some of this chicken stock as well. And we've added two pints of water because when it simmers, it's going to actually evaporate anyway. So let's give this a stir. There's no meat in here; it's all veg. But I might add the meat in later on because the meat gives a lot of flavour as well, you see. So I'm going to put a lid over it and then just let it simmer away. So thanks for watching, everybody. Um, as I say, I might come on in two hours and do another quiz. If you see that, it'll be on replay uh, or, if you, or when you're watching it live. And um, thank you for watching, guys. So I shall see you all later. Have a great day if I don't see you on the quiz. Bye. Bye, everybody.